good morning students let us see what is the approach of previous year questions course when it comes to history optional i will show you the approach what we are going to do for handling previous year questions <coughs> we have two papers in history optional paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 contains ancient india and medieval india paper 2 contains modern india and modern old history now when it comes to previous year questions we are going to cover 40 years 40 years of previous year questions we are going to deal with it and we are going to categorize all these 40 years of questions into different themes like suppose we will segregate all the ancient questions medieval modern old questions first segregation and again when it comes to ancient india syllabus wise we will go we will take all the mauryan questions in one set all the gupta related questions one set so likewise chapter wise and now the third stage now here it comes the special significance of this course within mauryans we are going to club all the themes in one category for example different themes like when it comes to history questions we can broadly categorize all the themes into political economic art and culture so likewise we can segregate if you take mauryans then these themes like what are the politico administration how politico administrative conditions were there during mauryan time period and the same theme applies to guptas as well and other theme like what is the economic condition what was the economic condition during mauryan time period what was the economic condition during gupta time period so while dealing with the previous year questions we will club all the economic questions under one set when we are dealing with mauryans we will club previous 40 years questions related to economic angle we will club and politico administration we will club and art and culture what is the contribution of mauryans to this what is the contribution of guptas likewise and when it comes to early medieval history major aspects like bhakti movement and also feudalism concepts are very very crucial when it comes to the early vedic time early sorry early medieval time period we will club all those questions under one group here i will show you how we are going to deal with it so this is how we will club it then in economy you may get different again one question particular question can be a complete economic dimension so that means you need to talk about agriculture you need to talk about industrial condition you need to talk about trade then monetary so international relations or international aspect whatever we are going to have economic related we are going to deal with this particular section sometimes question can be purely on agrarian relations for example if you take moguls the theme is going to be moguls then economic theme and within that if question is about <coughs> all the economic aspects of moguls you are your dimensions in the answer going to be all these but sometimes questions can be only on what is the condition of agriculture during mughal time period so only this can be a question for 10 marker only this can be a question for 10 marker and sometimes all the economic conditions for 20 marker so we are going to club all the previous year questions under these categories and we are going to deal with it when it comes to the paper 1 we have special feature that is map very very crucial in order to touch 300 marks in history optional you cannot neglect map based questions 20 map pointings are going to come two and a half mark for each map point and 50 marks so it means most of the students are comfortable for 200 marks that means paper 1 250 marks 
and paper 2, 250 marks. Out of 500, most of the students are 450 marks. That means if you remove 50 marks here, the 200 marks are people, most of the students are comfortable while writing the answers. But when it comes to the map marking, very, very crucial. And it is like a double-edged sword. You can utilize the map skills in reaching 300 marks also. Or if you ruin that, and your score will come down to 250, even below that also. So that is going to be very, very crucial when it comes to the map based. We are going to take out all the previous year map markings and with the technological tools like We will use Google Earth, and we are going to use Google Map as well. Google Map as well, and Google Earth, we will try to utilize. We will identify the exact locations with proper latitude, longitude, so that we will not miss the accuracy of the point. UPSC giving the boundaries of the states also. And by giving boundaries, it is asking us to expect the exact location of the particular location. UPSC will give markings like this, and they will ask what is the Neolithic, Megalithic, Mauryan time period, important Buddhist site, important uh, cultural center, important uh, educational centers. Likewise, they are going to keep the markings, and they are going to test us. For that, we have to use Google Map and Google Earth very carefully to understand. Once we see in visualization point, we are going to remember for a long time. And when it comes to Google Earth also, we are going to utilize Google Earth in understanding what is the geographic location in which they are living. For example, many of the Paleolithic sites you will identify in the near hilly areas. So when it comes to Sohan Valley, in this location, you are going to identify. And in this location, you are going to identify. And <clears throat> some of these Paleolithic sites are there near hilly areas. So by seeing the physical map, Google Earth, we are going to see exact location. And when we zoom it, I will show you how. For example, let us see in this location. If we see this, let me type. Bimbetka, rocket, shelters. Now you can see, we will directly go to that location and we can identify what is the conditions during. We can see the maps, maps also and also the images also. Now we can see like this and how the shelters were there and with the various various rock shelters. And sometimes we will get more images also, which will give you the how the paintings of Bimbetka caves. Likewise, for every site, we are going to utilize Google Earth also, so that you will remember through pictures, we will get the exact location also, and we will not miss the accuracy of the map pointing. So this is how we are going to deal with map also. Let's come to the, this is the approach with Google Map and Google Sheets. And when it comes to Google Sheet or Microsoft Excel, we have a feature which will create map automatically. If we list the, all the important ports, all the Paleolithic sites, all the Neolithic sites, and if we give the latitude, longitude, once we click the map in Excel Sheet that I have already prepared a video, you please watch to get complete idea about how to utilize Excel sheet in creating the maps with accuracy. So with Google Map, Google Sheets, and Google Earth, and Excel maps, we are going to 
maximum we are going to try important sites with high accuracy so that you will remember more and you will get maximum score in map and when it comes to the answer writing we will cover all the nearly 40 years and this we have to utilize the previous year questions course fully so that what are the keywords that are coming in the previous years we have to identify and there are some keywords like elaborate analyze assess sometimes they will add adjective like critically critically analyze the term critically means we have to highlight some other uh, generally whatever history we are writing is some historians have already researched and they have given their opinions but there are certain concepts where historians did not agree all some historians have certain point of view some other historians have the exactly opposite point of view so when it comes to critical analysis we are going to write both of them but when upsc particularly ask about critical we will highlight the the not the generally agreed one but there are other opinions also we have to highlight that that is with respect to keywords we are going to utilize the previous year questions course you are going to write the answers i am going to evaluate and i will give you complete analysis about different keywords also and how to write answers now linkage with current developments i will try to explain you how to link history history is all about the story which already happened what is the purpose of reading now is means we can learn some lessons now so that we will not repeat the same mistakes in future we are preparing for the administrative service this means for the progress of the country we have to contribute in our career for that purpose if we have better understanding of our history and we can utilize that knowledge knowledge is wealth so that we cannot we will not repeat the mistakes and we will use our knowledge for the development of india that's why we have to connect our historical aspect with the present context also current affairs also i will try to explain the latest current developments also how we can link and using technology we are going to use different images also maps also excel sheets also so that you will have broad idea and understanding about this and main aspect with respect to answer writing is space usage so it is like you are going to become an administrator if you become district magistrate you will be allocated some funds to develop the district and you cannot utilize the resources on a particular or completely you cannot focus on only one aspect you have to use that fund very efficiently for various aspects or various schemes various developmental activities here the skills of utilizing the funds effic effectively comes it's a separate skill of the administrator so that upsc is going to test in the examination itself by using the space so here you imagine space is the word limit is the limited resource they are given to us and we have to give the effective answer within that word limit so we have to utilize how to use the given space very effectively to write about all the dimensions it's all about how many dimensions you are going to write in the answer if question is having two important segments we have to answer two segments if question is containing three segments we have to give three segments but again within the space which they have provided us now let us see some examples to this now you see question on ashoka dhamma there are various this is how for example when dhamma we are going to deal with means we are going to club all the dhamma related questions like this and now you can see from 17 1979 2014 17 up to 2022 so we are going to track all the 40 years dhamma related questions in one go you will have complete broad picture about ashoka dhamma and whatever question comes in next year most of the questions they will definitely fall under any of these categories it may be a specific or it may be a broader question now let us see here Ashoka Dhamma was propagated not just for moral upliftment and social harmony but also for the extension of the state's authority analyze the statement now you can see here how to utilize the space and also what are the segments which we need to focus while writing the answer here the question is about Ashoka Dhamma that is the theme the moment we see this word our brain will try to recollect whatever we know about Ashoka Dhamma 
same sources nshrt you are going to read rs sharma you are going to read romila tapar you are going to read upinder singh you are going to read and uh, many notes also available so you are going to read it so you have a lot of information about ashoka dhamma no doubt but when it comes to answer writing now we have to use the ashoka dhamma you have a lot of content in the brain but whatever you know is not required for that particular space you have to use your knowledge which is required for that space now propagated so propagated means he spread dhamma not just for moral upliftment and social harmony now you see the keywords here one is moral upliftment and social harmony so you have to utilize your knowledge and convert those points into what are the points related to moral upliftment what are the points related to moral uh, social harmony and extension of the state's authority so state's authority here you can see keyword is analyze analyze the statement so keyword is analyze we have to always keep in mind if keyword is critically analyze a different kind of structure will come if it is analyze analyze a different type of structure will come now what is the concept of ashoka dhamma the first part next we are going to write about the dhamma then did he propagate for moral upliftment social harmony so we have to write about moral upliftment and social harmony what is moral upliftment and how dhamma helped upliftment of the morality and how dhamma helped social harmony next when it comes to the state's authority we are going to highlight how did it help the state to have control over the people how dhamma helped for propagating moral upliftment how dhamma spreaded for social harmony so this is how we are going to segment first of all we will take all the questions related to dhamma then within dhamma we will take one by one and we will try to see how many segments are there in the question and how to write in each segment and while writing the answer also we should be very careful in utilizing the space very well for example this is the question related to dhamma the keyword is analyze analyze means we have to highlight whatever the segments they have given in the question now we will give introduction related to dhamma and we give conclusion also and this introduction and conclusion we have to develop based on the terms given in the question itself once it is given then when it comes to body then we have here in it comes to this we have moral upliftment then we have to write about some points then social harmony then we have to give some points then state authority we have to give some points so that all the segments which are given in the question are visible in the answer and this is about 15 marks upsc generally do not mention if it is only for 10 marker they are expressly exclusively asking 150 words if it is 10 marker question but 15 marker question they won't but they will give the space so within that space you have to organize your answer into the main purpose of your answer sheet should be analyzing all the segments all the dimensions given in the question here ashoka dhamma itself suppose if there is no these things you can write one entire essay also about ashoka dhamma but it is not the case when it comes to the question you have to use the same knowledge and you have to structure accordingly suppose if question is about discuss about ashoka dhamma discuss about ashoka dhamma means now in dhamma there are various dimensions moral upliftment social harmony state authority is three important dimensions of dhamma but there are various other dimensions also like what is dhamma why he wanted to propagate and what are the impact of it and do you think 
one of the reasons for downfall of mauryan empire is dhamma so there are various segments without mentioning any of them if the question is about only discuss about ashoka dhamma means you are going to write as many dimensions as possible but these all these dimensions are not required here in this question you have to pick up moral upliftment social harmony and state authority and you are going to highlight here so it is all about space management now you see if it is also for 150 15 marks this also for 15 marks now you can clearly see the structure of this answer is going to change the structure of this answer is going to change so mains answer writing skill is all about how efficiently you use the space given by the upsc and how efficiently you are going to categorize the dimensions given in the question effectively and write it once you master this then you are going to enjoy whatever question are coming in the whatever questions are coming in the upsc exam so this is with respect to question questions and with respect to map i have shown you google map google earth and microsoft excel we are going to utilize through images we are going to visualize and you are going to enjoy history optional very well so these are the details about previous history questions and we are going to deal 40 years pyqs with solutions i will segregate the themes and overall theme if you understand you can write any kind of answer if question comes on that particular theme this is about pyq course details thank you thank you very much